Hey, this is Frosty7, and this is gonna be a tutorial on how to fix a launchpad S issue with user one mode. I have a video I made here showing the problem. If you just keep watching, you're gonna see something. Here are just some lighting effects I made, so that's not the problem. But there. These two last buttons sends me to mixer mode for some strange reason. It doesn't happen all the time, but quite often. Which is... Which is annoying. If you... If you actually make some... Launchpad videos. If you're performing. And you use these buttons. Yeah, that won't be... Cool. If you get this problem. Now, at first, I thought it was. Uh, at first, I thought this problem occurred because I used another kind of cable that I found. Because this is not the cable that comes inside the box. Um, but no. Uh, then I tried different USB ports, see if that helped. No. Uh, and then tried to uninstall and reinst reinstall the drivers. Uh, for the launchpad, and that did not fix it e either. So uh, then I thought maybe it was something wrong with my launchpad because I didn't really see any other uh, any other one having this problem. It was a problem I found just randomly when I played in user one mode. So I contacted Innovation about this problem, uh, and I got a reply from them. Uh, that I should try to update my Launchpad S firmware. So they sent me two links. Uh, now the problem here though is that this link is dead. So, but it doesn't really matter because we can still do the process. But this one is working. This is the firmware you're gonna be downloading. Uh, but first, uh, we're gonna get a program which allows you to update um, the launchpad firmware. So the program is called um, Midiox. It was available here in the guide before, but since the page doesn't exist anymore, we can't get it from here. But it doesn't really matter if you just do a Google search. Uh, but the web page we're gonna be using is Midiox.com. The links will be in the description. So, uh, yeah, just click this link to download and click here. I just save it somewhere. It doesn't really matter because it's just a setup file. Uh, now go to the second link um, to get a firmware. And just click here to download and save it. And now run the setup file. Click run, click setup. And just go through this wizard. Click next, agree, next. Um, yeah, just choose personal use. I don't know if it really matters, but whatever. Click next, click next. And I'm just gonna install it on my program disk. Uh, this is really up to you where you want to install it. So then click next, click next and it should install. It's a very small program though so um, I don't know it's like 10 megabytes or something. I'm not quite sure. Maybe more. But it doesn't matter because we don't really need this program and after this process. Uh, yeah. So now you're gonna let me open this in the folder. Uh, now once installed, just double click the um, firmware file that we just downloaded. And it should, oh, before you do this, um, you have to 
to to plug your launchpad in. If you don't do it, then you're gonna get an error that no MIDI devices are detected. So make sure you connect your launchpad before opening this. Once you do it, then you you get to Windows. Uh, this is the firmware patch, and this is the main window. Um, but first, we're gonna do we're gonna go to the main window, and it should say no output device and no input device. What you're gonna do is click on options and click on MIDI device, and from here choose for MIDI input choose Launchpad S and MIDI output choose Launchpad S, and click OK. And you should say one output device and one input device. And now go back to the uh, firmware and click file and send sysx file. And just for some strange reason we have to select this file again. And it should say file progress. Now I'm gonna switch to... Oh wait a sec. Sysx no buffer away. Well, yeah, this is an error you may be getting sometimes. Uh, if you get this memory error, just try to um, try again. Okay, let's try to redo this progress. Okay. Again, also, if you restart the program, you're gonna need to select MIDI devices again and click OK. Uh, now, my launchpad did boot. Uh, did start a bootloader though. So, let's see if it works now. There we go. Okay, now switching over to my webcam. If you look at the launchpad, it should say upgrading. So it's upgrading the firmware right now, so just let it do the work. And here, oh, I can't really show <laughs> the screen with the webcam. Um, it should be pretty quick, but just just let it do the work. There we go, finish. Now it's gonna restart. And you should get this boot animation I was talking about. And that's it. Now, just to check, you can actually just unplug the launchpad and go into the bootloader. Just let me install the webcam again. There we go. Okay. Okay, so to check the bootloader, click here, bootloader version, it should say 127, and for the firmware it should say 24. Yeah. So that's really how to, f to fix it. Now you can, uh, you can actually just uninstall everything. Uh, because you don't really need it. Um, because everything saves to your launchpad, so you can, you don't have to redo this for every uh, PC that you plug it into. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah. So that's it. Happy launchpadding. <laughs> I hope this tutorial was helpful. So yeah. Alright, um, Frost is having out.